What's up, guys? Welcome back to the 2024 Auburn Open in Auburn, California. This is presented by the Auburn Chain Zombies. Coming to you from myself, Spanky Edwards, and my good friend, Dan Devil N. Turner. What's up, guys? Let's watch some disc golf here. We got uh, Raven Newsome coming in. 10-15 rated. Played his way onto the lead card again. Matt Bell out of Nevada City. 10-27 rated. Josh Anton. 10-19 rated. Right here in Sacramento. Always fun to watch him. Parker Welk, new to the, the coverage here at the Auburn Open. He, I believe he was born and raised in Hawaii, then maybe moved to Huntington Beach. I know his dad lives close to Tahoe out in Minden. Here's the leaderboard to start. Round two, Proctor shot the 10 down. Just one off the pace here of being on lead card. But all those guys on chase card are just a few strokes back, as you can see here, uh, with Raven and Matt tied up top. Yeah, Raven shooting the hot seven to tie the lead going into the mm -hmm. final round. All these guys are, for the most part, touring pros, household names. We've got Sam Minges and Avi Gomez are both the California players. I don't know either one of them personally, but uh, it's good to see them in the mix with all these uh, household names. Yeah, and Proctor and Avi right there, you know, Welcome to the final round of the right 2024 them. Auburn Open. First up on the tee pad. Coming in tied for first at 15 under. Raven Newsom. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to see definitely, I think, a lot of uh, well, what we've seen so far is definitely the forehand overstable moving right. And then we've definitely seen Matt Bell throw that roller a lot. So I think we're going to see a lot of forehands and maybe a roller or two. This is looking a little high, but hopefully it has the distance to crash down there. Oh. Also tied wow. first at 15 under. That was a fantastic roll. Yeah, <laughs> Kept going. Yeah. Uphill bid, though. Circle two. Yeah, That's, absolutely. I, I, want, I want to be there. That's a good shot. That's a really good shot. Surprise, surprise. Matt Bell going roller. Yeah, it gets caught up early, but it's... Uh, down there for a run, maybe. Next up at 13 yeah, like down. Pretty easy layup Josh three, I think. How about this guy's shirt, by the way? I I will buy that shirt off your back, sir. <laughs> What's on? It was a squirrel, I think. Possibly a flying squirrel. Here's Josh Anton. He's going roller. Let's see if he can lay one down the path here like he did the other day. Yesterday. That looks right. He likes the tight side, it seems like. Rounding out the lead card at 12 down. Parker Wolf. Here's Parker here. He's going to throw a forehand. Yeah, excited to see Parker play this course. Yeah. He had been hanging out in Tahoe, you know, the week prior. We had seen him up at Bijou and Zephyr. And nice. He can rock the forehand. I don't know if no he... No doubt. Oh, that was higher than I was expecting. Let's see how... Yeah, this is the new spot. Yeah, so he threw a high shot, but was just relying on it coming down through. Here's Bell for a birdie look. Yeah, like a pretty conservative little layup there. I think he's always trying to make it. Same as this guy. Well, that's looking like a layup as well. I guess the green can get, get away from you. See, Ravens blow the basket. He can just, yeah. yeah. They had a pretty scary, you know, runaway potential. You know, I was about, wow. to, bet you, I was about to bet you a buck that he was going to make it. Wow. I just didn't get it out fast what enough. What a bird. Nice. Nice. So. Looks like everybody else is pretty close. You're going to clean up their pars. And then we're on to hole two here shortly. Hole two is uh, the big spike hyzer, or I feel like if you got the grenade, you could sneak it down there. Uh, kind of a peninsula green with the creek and then the trees and then the actual out of bounds uh, road up there. Yeah, hole two is always the, every time they throw it over the top, it looks like it's two left and then it's perfect. And 
and sometimes it's actually two left, but <laughs> mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I think we're going to see four over the tops here. 100%. Look left. Look left. And it's well, it's actually a little short. Right up the middle, yeah. That was kind of a weird bounce back. We'll have a, 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 he'll be able to run that for there for sure. Weird. He looks like he's lining up the down nope. the gut shot. No way. And he goes over the top. Wow. He should have looked higher. I think you yeah, he <laughs> saw his <eye>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he should have looked up. Xanton spiking it over the top. He kind of yeah. goes flat, actually. Not really a pure spike. Okay. Yeah, not a bad spot. Probably 45 50. Well, Parker just stepped up into pretty quick, huh? Yeah, Parker's got a lot of power. I, If you haven't seen it, uh, Tahoe Pro Am, I want, dare I say, 2021. Somewhere in there, Parker was on some premium coverage. Uh, First time I got to meet him and play with him, he's got a lot of pop forehand and backhand. Matt Bell trying to thread it down there and gets caught up late. He's probably about 65 feet from here. Good run. I mean, I don't think we're the first people to say it. Like, it is fun to watch that guy attack the basket. Absolutely. He definitely doesn't go undrafted in our fantasy league. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that again. Anton for birdie. Oh. Online. Very good bid. Just a little low. Parker, great birdie. Good five. I have a feeling he's going to clean it up. He's going he's gonna to get right back on track. We'll see. I hope. I think if Raven makes this, he's got a two-stroke lead. Oh. Commentator curse. I've never seen this footage, folks. Raven with the At any short rate, let's, uh, let's start thinking about hole number three. Both three is that funky one, under 200, right? A 185. Most of these guys are going either forehand over the top or some sort of maybe like tomahawk or grenade. And then there's the forehand lines kind of straight at it through the trees. Not a bad yeah, shot if, there from Parker. If that hung on the hillside, he should be right there in the circle. For Gosh. such a short hole, it's definitely a difficult one for these guys to mm-hmm. get close. Yeah, Josh and Matt play the inside line, but I feel like they, they've they've played quite a few more rounds than maybe Raven and Parker have here. So, yeah, this is kind of the local course for them, or one of the local courses for them. So definitely. And nice shot by Raven. Looks like it hung on enough. Gosh. I don't ever pucker for rolls. I just play them for where they end, Spanky. No doubt. Oh, Matt. Matt actually oh. changed his play on this hole. First two rounds, he went right at it, right? Hundred percent, and came up short. And that one looked like it got. Oh, he got, roll, he got the roll away. I'll have some type of look for birdie for sure. I can't really tell how far away. Oh, okay. Now it's early in the round, but you know you got to think maybe Parker and Anton are just pressing a little. I mean, not in a bad way, but like they're like you know we're you know we're two back a Raven. You know, Matt made a bogey, so he came back down to earth, I mean, a little bit. But, like, you know, they got to gain ground. Everybody's playing for birdies, but like, those guys, you know, a few strokes back, especially the way Matt and uh, wow. Josh putt. <laughs> he didn't believe it was in. I love those putts. Out of your hand, you're like, you just miss it all the way, and then it just ends up in the basket. Like That's the way it is. It missed all the way somehow in. I'll take that. Oh. Raven with some early woes on the no. green here, two and three. 
No, do not go out of bounds. That disc oh. is swimming. He's for sure reputting from his last lie. Without out. a doubt. Parker's like, I got this. Are you waiting or are you going to go? Oh, that is Heartbreak Hotel. Maybe Raven wanted to putt with the same putter, but I, I don't uh, think he'll putt it from down there. Everybody's giving him a little courtesy time because he went down the hill and back. We're just putting out. Makes that one just to like we thought we had made the first, but uh, let's see here with that bogey, he drops it down. Josh got the birdie, so now we have three way tie for the lead here 14 down. Parker just one back of all three guys. The whole four 358, but it plays a little more downhill yeah. than it looks on camera. That's a fantastic shot. Yeah, that's I mean, twice Josh on. has made this hole look good. Um, yeah, it's easy. A it's a little more downhill than it looks on camera, and it's definitely a low ceiling. So I think, yeah, definitely the forehand play is really popular, and then the roller play as well. But it's just over that, what do we call it? The, we'll call it the cart path, but it's the bike path. Yeah. Um, that bi I feel like that big sunshine bit in the middle is actually larger than it mm -hmm. looks. Bell going roller. You know, this being the third round, that's probably the fourth or fifth roller we've saw get down in the zone. And I think Parker's was the first forehand that we saw that got clean and got down on the green. Let's see if Raven can make it happen with the forehand here. Should That's one roller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's one of those. If it's fair, it's good. I look clean out of his hand. Yeah. Good, good angle, good height, but just, just, just smoke the foul. Good approach. Should be. Uh, yeah, we'd like to think it's pretty tap easy tapping bar. Yeah, for sure. Nice Good birdie from Parker. This is Bell's roller, just right down in here. So it nice. seems like rollers to play. Yeah, both the guys that threw roller uh, put it close here. Here's Josh or Birdie. Yeah, he's never taken too much time. <laughs> no. He doesn't need to. He looks at the basket and says, well, I'm going to put him there. And You know, I think I take about as much time as him, but uh, I don't make as many sense. <laughs> I feel like when I'm playing good, I'm like maybe the slowest player in the nearest nine states. I mean, I could agree. Mm -hmm. Here's hey. hole five, temporary hole. A little tight forehand shot for the right-hand players. This looks good from Josh. I think he smoked a tree a little bit there late, but he should be up, up putting pretty handily. Would you say 95% forehand on this hole? Yeah. If the player has the forehand, they're going to go with the forehand. Is there even a... Even yeah, I mean, a, just look at it. I mean, it's tough. It's I mean, to Heiser flip a backhand through there is asking a lot because you got this tree early off the tee. As a lefty forehander, what do you do? Uh, I throw a lefty forehand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Heiser flip for, for life, dude. <laughs> I wasn't sure if anybody tried to attack that tiny little gap on the right. Oh, you know, I don't... I, I mean, I've never seen me throw up that side, but I've only, you know, I've played a handful, of, maybe three or four tournaments down here in Auburn. That's where Parker ended up. He's just trying to get close here. Give me a putt. Spicy run from definitely, Raven. Definitely a run. You know it's a run if Bell's button. Okay, she's clean up from Raven. Definitely. All right, and Parker's got this here to clean up his par. Kind of stretched out a little bit, as you can see. Hope he's keeping up with his yoga.
Although when you got young ligaments like these guys, you don't even care what yoga is. You know? What's it like? Josh for the birdie. Could be no time at all. No doubt about it. Matt's going to knock his par in, and then we'll move on to the 600-foot hole six par four. This is the combo hole, right? Correct. This is playing from traditional hole course five all the way down to hole course or a course hole number six up by the road, kind of a bowl down there, and there's a creek long. Mando off the tee. A lot of guys throw the roller or the forehand. Here's Anton going backhand roller. He bit off about half the hole plus, maybe probably. Yeah, that hundred. seemed a little steep on the angle, right? Just yeah, hooked he up a little too fast. Bit off about 370, 400. This has got look like it's got the right movement on it. If it uh, it doesn't swap anything. Yeah. A little stomp. It gets caught up, but honestly, downhill kind of into a bowl on the green. That's why our Ridge, our our catch him guy, panned over to show you that he is. He's going to be running that for a two, probably, I yeah. would bet. Like you said, it's downhill with a safe backhand. Yeah. There's no no danger yeah. of running Here's it. Here's Matt Bell with the backhand roller. It looks like he caught up some stuff there in the middle of that fairway. He'll have a play from there. Uh, last round, he went long, remember, out of bounds. I think that was last round. Yeah, he jumped up over the, like, right. up the hill First and the OB. Here's Raven. This thing is cooking, folks. Ah, I get caught up. Yeah, like behind. you said, still very runnable from there, mm -hmm. even if it's long. Matt's shot here looking pretty good. Maybe high right. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, in that hillside. Yeah, but there's that bowl I'm talking about. It's like if you can get into there, you're going to be putting. Josh from about 170. He hit the gap pretty clean. Yeah, wow. right there. That is perfect. Marker to three. You know, it's being a par four, so it is definitely a two-shot hole, but a lot of these guys are just, you know, with that roller play they have, it's just a chip up, and they're going to get birdie. If they, if they get four, it doesn't feel Look good. Look at this! Oh, my gosh, oh, Parker, Parker, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. We're high-fiving the studio, wow. folks. Sorry it got so loud. Parker we got shoot. really excited. Oh, and Rich Carter on the catch cam. Nice. Unbelievable. Wow. Raven trying to duplicate it. Stop it. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I thought he had Marker. it. That was a good look. Wow. Matt with a birdie putt. 25, 30. Yeah, nice putt. Raven with a little straddle here over the rock. Does he always straddle putt? I haven't noticed yet. That's a good question. Time will tell. I feel like in California, you always have to try to put. There's so many bushes and low ceilings. Yeah, you definitely want to have it. Hey guys, welcome to Premium Disc Golf here in South Lake Tahoe. This is where we are filming from, by the way. Greatest selection of discs in South Lake Tahoe. If you're ever here looking for discs, come check us out. Premium Disc Golf. The two Tolmans. They're the best. Hole 7, par 3, 417. Little uphill, the creek is kind of running alongside of it to the right. Yes. On, this looks good if it crashes through. Kind of a dirty kick backwards, but I think he's putting from like 45 there. Pretty close to the green or slash on the green. No, that was a great right. shot. Anton throwing the low line. He wants us to get back left. I think he's outside of circle two there. Yeah, that right side always looks from this angle, it looks completely buried, but a lot of them are taking that side. Mm -hmm. I just think it's like, what shot are you more comfortable with? You know, this over the top that Matt and Parker are throwing, like I said, last round, it's like, you know, if you got it, you know, it kind of gets down there and falls through. Oh, very nice approach. Okay, we've got 
Bell from looking like. Oh my goodness. Oh. Like 50 feet. Hard to say. Almost ringing it up. Right at the top. Here's Raven's look for two. I like a clean these, window. Yeah. I like these framed up ones. Yeah. Oh, oh he's leaning on the rock to save it. Yes. Yeah, we're high fiving. We love seeing good go. Wow. That was a good shot, Raven. Nice birdie. This is where Parker got to. Hopefully, he's got a window. I know he's, he's trailed out a little bit. Oh, so close. Just a little low. He stayed close. Should be easy tapping. That was easy cleanup. It looks like it's going to be pretty easy cleanup for everybody. Maybe into hole eight. Hole eight, what is it, about 410 uphill? A lot of guys like the roller. There's a Mando late left um, because hole 18's fairway is right there. Is this Raven here on the tee? He threw an air shot yesterday. Maybe that was Jake Brown who threw an air shot. What do I know? Oh, Parker. Damn it. Parky with an, uh, an extra follow through didn't work out for him there. Moved a little early. Yeah, Anton going roller. Looks like it kicked right there. Alright, not too bad. Let's see what he's got. Let's see here, Matt going roller as well. I'm kind of curious what this disc is he rolls. This is where Raven got to. He's got some work left. And the one tree to beat looks like it beat him. It's funny to say the one tree looking into this grove. I think if he gets right of that, but he's going to be higher yes, into the green. Of course. Josh has got a nice clean window with there. His roller ended up. He's looking at probably 20 feet, I think. Matt plays a nice hyzer into the green. I'll have that for par. Yeah, we're hearing some claps. See if interesting if Raven's running this here for or for par. Looks like maybe he wanted it, but didn't give it too much gusto. But he's gonna take a bogey here. Yeah, par fit from about 50. Oh, a little high. Left a little meat on it. All right. Josh cleaning up the par, nicely done. Here's Raven's look for a bogey. Okay, that's Raven's putt. Parker's gonna be a little closer than I thought then. Oh, there he is, okay. Raven dropping a stroke here. So Parker and Raven dropping a stroke and falling two off of Anton. And don't forget, I think three guys on chase card were one back of Parker going into this. So if any of those guys are hot, then they can creep up and steal a podium, or if not, the win. Here's Josh probably throwing a leopard. Backhand turnover. This is he a... wants it to get up. There's a creek long on this hole. Uh, they, you know, the sign says 386, but it plays a lot shorter than that just because it's downhill. Yeah. Matt with a nice flick. I think he's close to Circle's Edge from there. But he actually got an interesting little skip forward. This looks a little inside and short. Mm, good yeah. skip, though. And yeah, yeah, not so short. <laughs> it's actually yeah. obviously short. But about, I mean, it wasn't long. <laughs> it was not long. About like 20 footer. Down Parker high. throwing forehand. This looks like Ravens. Oh. oh, a little dud skip. Yeah, it seems like everybody's kind of just going for that like Heiser forehand because it's downhill. Just powerful, mm -hmm. all Heiser the whole way. Josh doesn't love that bid.
Also, just kind of laying it up in there for a par. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to be missing and cruising off that back hill. There's water back there, right? Matt wants that one back, especially after these guys are fighting for par, you know. Yeah. Yep. Here's Raven with a chance to take a stroke on the card. He needs it too after dropping one last hole. A little downhill, no problem. Nice. Our leader bard, Anton, Proctor, and Turner with the hot round, hot front nines, I should say, with a four down. Raven knew some Matt Bell would just neg one here on the front, but they're one stroke behind Josh. Proctor is within two of Anton. The homie Dustin in there on the top ten. Nice shooting, Dustin. <laughs> there you go. Sketchy D. Well, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in and definitely come check us out for the back nine and we will see you there.